What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today we are back at it with my 2004 Saab 95 Aero. 223 and a half thousand miles and this car is about to go on a 3,000 mile road trip for the month of February. So today not only are we going to change the oil, but we're also going to change the serpentine belt and the crank seal behind the main crank and uh, just do some maintenance on this on some of these items. None of them are severely in need of replacement, but there is a slight leak on the crank. So I might as well go ahead and replace the seal. It was a $3 seal. And while I'm in there, I've never changed the serpentine belt. So we're gonna go ahead and change the serpentine belt. And then uh, of course, just a regular maintenance on the oil and it should be off and ready to go, hopefully without any uh, issues along the next 3,000 miles. We changed the oil. 2,500 miles ago, I'm gonna just look at the, the board here. It says 220, 224.50. So uh, we have about 2,000 miles left on the oil. I usually run 5,000 miles on an oil change. So that tells me we've done uh, 30, uh, we've done 3,000 miles in a month on this car. So to do another 3,000 this month is kind of, I guess, normal for this car. So let's hop into this. I'm just gonna jack up the car, take off the front passenger side and uh, get everything into position and I'll show you how this is done. So here we are underneath. As you guys can see, we took care of this cover here and it kind of exposes where this oil is flowing and it looks exactly like I thought uh, it's coming definitely from behind this crank. So we're gonna go ahead and definitely take care of it. The only way I know is it's definitely splattering up on top and also seeping down. And uh, if I were to look on the top here, just to show you guys, there is no oil leaking from above that I can visually see. There's nothing coming from the back of the engine there either. So a lot of this stuff um, is either coming from the oil pan, which I don't think is because we've done the oil pan gasket, or it's coming from where I suspect, which is right behind the crank. So we are on point here, and then I'll just clean everything up and uh, should be all set to go. Again, this oil leak is fairly new, and I know that, uh, I know that before we received this car at 194,000 miles that this valve cover gasket was leaking extremely bad. So there could be also aged oil uh, that's dried on the timing chain cover. So that will probably be towards the top. So let's go ahead and remove this engine mount bracket. Uh, 16, four 16 millimeter bolts and an 18 millimeter on the center. Make sure that when you guys are replacing this and reinstalling that you have the engine properly mounted up or lifted up with the jack. I'm going to put a block of wood in between so uh, you don't strip out these holes. I've done it before and had to re-tap and uh, it is aluminum so be careful that you don't actually use the, the bolt to lift the engine weight. We don't want to do that. So, so let's get going. I'm going to break these bolts loose and uh, get this thing undone. All right, guys, so here it is. It looks like they didn't ever change or remove the pulley. This is still the long belt, so we're going to go ahead and bypass that center pulley there. Uh, that's pretty interesting. So, yep, we're going to do that now. I bought the short belt. You can see all this oil that's over here. That's all fairly old oil from very old leaks, so nothing that seems to be current. It's pretty dried up, so that's... A good thing so we'll remove this belt and again I have the short belt here so we're gonna be avoiding that center pulley those pulleys tend to go bad and uh, you don't need them so pretty awesome all right boys so with a little bit of hassle I got this bolt off this was really on there tight I had to put a uh, pry bar inside the uh, uh, flywheel to stop the engine from turning and uh, there we have it. You can see some oil seeping out there. 
right? So we're gonna replace that ring. Let's put this aside. Let's get this snap ring off and then uh, pull that whole thing out. All right, boys, we got the snap ring off with my custom tools. It's time to uh, pull this sucker out. All right, not too much oil coming out, which is cool. Now we got to pull out this old this old ring here. This is literally stuck in there. That's how old it is. So give you perspective. <clears throat> all right, these seals are all pretty hard. This isn't so bad, this seal. But the outside seal, which was really difficult to remove, was extremely, extremely hard. So that was for sure. These things are for sure leaking or seeping, which is what you can see around the crank. All right, boys, so there's an arrow on the engine block, and there's also an arrow on the outside casing, so you gotta make sure that those two line up. So here we are, everything looks good. We're gonna give it a nice little tap with a mallet. All right, boys, I'm just going to reinstall that uh, pulley now, and then we're going to uh, reroute the new belt, which is sitting right there, and uh, change the oil and pretty much wrap this thing up for the night. It's late night tonight. Change the oil real quick, which takes 10 minutes. Probably do that on the buttoning up of everything else. So I'm going to stay tuned and uh, keep you guys posted as we go. But uh, I'm not going to show you everything because it's really self-explanatory. Crank, bolt, belt and then uh, retorque everything here and uh, if you guys want I can give you the torque specs on the engine mounts or I'll link a video up here where I've gone ahead and given all of that information once before so stay tuned let's wrap this thing up that crank seal and all that was definitely the culprit of that oil leak the way it was splattering and also as I shown earlier in the video there was no oil leaking from the top down Whatever was on the top has been old oil leaks from a long time ago. So nothing to really be worried about there. So without further ado, stay tuned. All right, boys, belt is on there. 36 foot pounds of torque on these aluminum bolts here. And then I just kind of hand tighten this down with a little breaker bar. Nothing too extreme, but a nice little yank, you know, that kind of a deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this, change the oil, and uh, it's getting late tonight. So I'm gonna just uh, call it a night and uh, wrap it all up tomorrow. All right guys, so uh, we got oil in there. Just gonna give it a, a quick start here before I go to home. Make sure she's running good so I sleep tonight knowing that she's all right. So we got 222 700. I'll mark the oil. Sounds perfect. We did it right. Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. So stay tuned for more in this video. We're gonna talk about what's to come next. Stay tuned. All right, boys, so it is a few days later and about 200,000 miles, or not 200,000, 200 miles later. And uh, the car's been running really good since we put the belt on and change the seals. Um, I just did a quick inspection earlier to make sure all the fluids and everything were looking good and they are. So um, I'm not too concerned about this next month of driving on this car. Uh, it is not me that's driving. I'm sending my father with the car. So he's gonna be driving this car and um, you know, there's a part of me that's nervous and then there's a part of me that's like, that car is fine. So hopefully things go well. Um, like I said, the car's been running good. I've been driving it the last couple days since we did the work. And um, 
yeah so 200 miles in two days 100 miles a day and uh, there's your 3,000 miles a month yeah this thing cranks out miles guys it's like it's unbelievable how much driving we do on this car and um, it runs good so thankfully that's the case so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick upload we're gonna send this thing on its way and when it comes back at some point we'll do some more maintenance on it like the rear brakes just some normal uh, wear and tear items but for now I hope you guys enjoyed the content and the storyline of my almost quarter million mile sob and uh, we'll see you guys next video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next channel on the next video rather I'll see you guys on the next video and if uh, you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me at Kyle Pantis on Instagram stay tuned